we say that breaking up is hard, but it's a bit different when it's not a romantic one. It's actually a, uh, a friendship. And sometimes you need to end the friendship. And I've got the, the questions that you can ask about a friendship about whether you should end it or not, whether it's oh. healthy. If your choices are always being challenged. So sometimes you should always workshop or something with a friend and go, I just feel like maybe I should change job. But mm-hmm. if they keep saying, you're always doing the wrong decision, you're always going into the wrong job, like if it's not helpful information, yep. then it's not good for you. Okay. okay. Yep, if there's no emotional um, uh, connection. So if you you talk to a friend and you never hear, how are you going? Mm -hmm. Get out of it. You never do what you enjoy. So it's give and take. So let's just say you love shopping, the other person likes going to the movies. If you're constantly Mm -hmm. going to the movies, then you Mm -hmm. should be like, hey, shopping over here. (laughs) Ask yourself, Stav, do you feel bad about yourself? Because if you're leaving someone, you're spending time with them, you walk away and you just go... I just don't feel good about myself. Then that's the sign that you should get out of the relationship because it's unhealthy. Right. The last (laughs) one is something that you probably don't even realise. Yeah. But it's when you're exhausted. You should leave someone, and if it's a healthy relationship, you actually feel a little bit energised. That's a great point. You know, sometimes when you leave and you just feel drained, and it can happen even with family members as well. You just go, why do I feel so exhausted? Then it could be a sign that you need to spend less time with them. Well, we'll um, we'll, we'll give this uh, to our video whiz kid and get him to post some of these up online. People can have a look over them. Yeah. And while you're in isolation, have a think. (laughs) Stav, Abby and Matt.